Yo. Hi my beautiful bubbles, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my thumbnails pretty straightforward. So a lot of you guys have been wondering what do you use to make your thumbnails? Like, what is this magic? My thumbnails aren't that great, but I'm gonna teach you guys anyways. So I use Photoshop personally to make my thumbnails, but there are plenty of other free softwares or apps that you can use. For example, I used to use an app on my phone called Fonto, and a lot of my old thumbnails came from that app. So if you'd like to download that, I also have a video on how to kind of use it, so you can check that out. And I also used to use an app called Pixlr.com, which is a free browser, basically. I was about to say browser extension like honey. This isn't sponsored. Basically, Pixlr is another version of Photoshop, just free, and you use it on your browser. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. So a lot of the things I'm doing here, you can also kind of do on a Pixlr because it's really similar. Honestly, I don't expect a lot of you to copy how I make my thumbnails because everyone has their own unique taste in thumbnails and it will kind of be hard. You know, you can't just copy someone's thumbnail, but you guys are wondering how I make them. So here's a tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I do is, well, first off, I make my GFX, and I've already done that. I've already rendered it and everything. And the next thing I do is I look for a background. So personally, when I make mine, I like to use anime backgrounds. I know that's random, but that's what I use. What am I doing? Let's do this one. I think this will work. So I save any one of these and just pick a background and we're going to resize it and everything. So don't worry. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a PNG or not. So just go back to whatever app you're using and open up this file. So first thing you want to do is go up here to image, then press image size. Make sure this is not clicked. Make sure this is set to pixels and put it one, two, eight, zero by 720 and there you go there's your thumbnail size so the next thing i do is i change the filter so i click it then go up here to filter blur and i don't even know how to say that guajin blur and you can change how blurry or whatever it is and i'm just gonna go with this so there you go there's my background already so next i'm going to import my gfx File, open, and look for your GFX. I know a lot of you aren't going to use this exactly for a tutorial on how to use Photoshop, but for those who are, I'm going to show you exactly step by step of what to do because Photoshop can be confusing. So up here at the top, you want to click Window, Arrange, and Tile All Vertically. Because when you open a new file, it like it doesn't add it on to the image. It makes a whole different set. And so you have to move it over here so there you go you have to drag it onto this photo and then you can exit out of that then you go up here to edit free transform and that is how you resize it so we're gonna put it over here in the corner there we go so next i'm going to click it and go over here to this fx uh, effects and i'm gonna go here to stroke so stroke makes a little line usually i like to go for a white stroke and you can change the sizing of it to make it really big or small. I go with the, just a good size and make sure it's on outside, not inside or center because it looks much better on the outside. Sometimes I also add a drop shadow, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the angle to over here and change the distance a bit. So there you go. Just I'm just doing little details. So if you'd like to know exactly how to do it, just look at my clicks and where I'm clicking because it will make much more sense. I'm not going to commentate everything I'm doing, so. Okay, so, so far we have the background and the GFX. Next, we're going to move on to titles and just decorations. So a lot of you are also wondering, where do I get my fonts? Well, let me tell you. 
I get my fonts from somewhere called defont.com. It is a free site where you can just search through thousands and thousands of fonts, and I love it. Um, you can get fonts on your phone from here. You can get it on any computer. Um, so I'll probably leave a link in the description on how to download the fonts because I'm using a MacBook to download them, but it's probably different on different types of computers. And you just press, for example, download. You open the file as soon as it will load and you click it, open it, and then you press this one, this little one <laughs> and you install the font and it is that simple. And then we'll go to your font book. So. That's how I get my fonts. You can get so many different fonts from here. Um, so after that, you probably have to restart Photoshop, but you can go over here to this little T on this side, click that, and you can click the screen and add some text. So it's going to be how I make. And to resize this, go up to here to edit and then free transform, and you can make it much bigger. So I'm going to do how I make, and I like this color, but maybe I'll make it a bit lighter possibly or darker. So you can go here to this little color button, or you can use swatches or do this. Press color, and you can change the color. And I like, I think that works. So to edit your text or change it, so I usually add a stroke again. So we go over here to effects and then stroke, and let's add a drop shadow. And then I also like to do a pattern overlay. A lot of these things are not available on like other apps. So if you were really into all this and you were serious about YouTube, I swear Photoshop is one of the best purchases you can get. Anyways, I go to pattern overlay and here you, there's different patterns that can go on the font. And basically you can scroll through them and I'm going to do some polka dots. You can change the opacity, but I'm going to make it like that and you can scale how big or small the polka dots are and I think that that is good so we're gonna press ok and we're gonna add some more lines so how I make my thumbnails then go back to edit free transform so here we're going to change the font of this so we're gonna click it so you have to highlight the whole thing to change the color or the font so we're gonna highlight the whole thing and then you can go through all your fonts. As you can see, I have a few fonts downloaded and I'm going to choose, hmm, maybe I'll try this. So let's change the color of this to maybe, so we're gonna change it to this kind of dark blue color. And then I'm also gonna add the effects again. So instead of a white stroke, I'm going to make it a darker color. So I'm gonna go here, click this, and then I'm gonna change how dark the color is. So I kind of like, I like that. I think that works. So since there's a lot of extra space here, I'm probably going to resize this all. So I'm going to change where it is. So whenever you're making a thumbnail, try a whole bunch of different possibilities. You can always go back by, for me, pressing Command Z, it will go back. But on Windows, I'll put it up on screen what, what command you press. But for me on MacBook, I press Command Z to go back. So that's just an interesting tip if you need it. So I like this instead of being up there. So how I make my thumbnails. Now there's a big empty space up here, but I know what I can use there. So I also use something online called wig flip and you can just make your own speech bubbles. So what I do is you can put in it. So we're gonna put in Photoshop tutorial. I'm gonna click spike right and we're gonna make it transparent then press submit. And here it is. So press save it and it will download to your computer. Next, just open the file look for it open that and window arrange tile all vertically and drag it over to this then edit it free transform and you can resize it also you can change angle it is by going to the side here and just turning it okay there's still empty space so what i also do sometimes is i go look for some emojis so we're gonna do a computer emoji and make sure to put in png because then it will be a transparent background so i'm gonna use this one because as you can see it has a transparent background with the little kind of squares and not all are transparent that have squares sometimes they fool you so it might not always be a transparent background so we're gonna save that 
and we're gonna open that up on Photoshop. Okay, let me resize this and we're gonna put it probably in the corner. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about something called layers that I have not covered yet. Photoshop is covered up by this computer. That's because over here, this is above this. Layer three is Photoshop tutorial and layer four is this. So what you wanna do is you wanna drag layer three above layer four. And that applies for everything else. You know, you can mess around with that some more, but that's the basics of layers. I'm also going to add in a Photoshop icon because I am using Photoshop for this tutorial. So just one more thing that I do. So go to File, Open. So what you want to do is download a white image like this, just plain white, and you're going to open it. But here, it's not a PNG file, so you can't just move it over. So as you can see, there's a little lock emoji, so you got to double click it and then press OK, and it will change it to a not PNG file but just being able to move and so click it and then drag it over so what we're gonna do is back to the layers again we're going to move this white image below everything else except the background and then we're gonna go edit free transform and we're gonna size it and press shift to kind of move it however you want and we're gonna make it so there's kind of extra space on the corners and then click so we're not going to keep it like this we're going to click it and then we're going to go opacity i think that's how you say it opacity i don't know and we're going to bring this down until it kind of makes it look like those kind of corners and that's it so to export this you want to go up here to file export as you don't really have to fix any of this just make sure that it's 1280 by 720 so then you're going to press export all and you can change the name i'm going to say how i make my thumbnails thumbnail and then you can change where you're going to save it to and then just save it so that is my tutorial on how i make my thumbnail keep in mind that this is not for everyone you guys were just wondering how do you do it so i'm not expecting this tutorial to help you massively grow your channel or to help you learn how to make thumbnails yourself because everyone does it differently personally i did not watch any tutorials on how to make thumbnails i just experimented with different apps and looked at other people's thumbnails and got inspired so if you want more tutorials in the future please let me know leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see y'all later bye my beautiful bubbles Yo.